Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can install Winsurf and how you can use Winsurf to write code for you. So first of all, just go to winsurf.com and here you can see download for Windows. So click here, then you will see the option. So I'm going to click this option, download for 64 bit. So once I click here, it will start downloading a file There you can see. So it is around 150 MB. So right now I'll just fast forward the video. And there you can see the download is complete. So when the download is complete, we just need to double click on this downloaded file. And it will show us something like this. So we need to accept the agreement. Then click on next. Then we'll uh, install it in the default location. Then click on next. Click on next. And we'll also create a desktop icon. Then click on next. And then click on install. So this will install WinSurf. And it will take a few seconds. And there you can see this time. So right now we can just click on finish and it will launch Windsurf. Then we're going to click here, get started. So here you can see you have option import a setting from VS Code or Cursor. So I recommend you to either choose any of those. So I'm going to choose this on VS Code or if you want to start from the beginning, then you don't have to choose anything. Just choose the first one, then click on next. And you can choose the theme, dark theme or some other themes. So I'll choose the Monokai theme and then click on next. And here we need to sign up. So click on sign up. I'm going to sign up using Google. So I'll choose my email address. Click on continue. And we're going to allow. Click on open. And it's done. Here you can see. So we have uh, successfully installed and set up our WinSub. So right now I'm going to show you how we can create a project using this. So here you will see this open folder option. So I'm going to click here open folder. And I'm going to create a folder over here first. And let's say the folder name will be dest. Then select this folder. Click here select folder. And it will open over here. Yes, I trust the author. There you go. It is done. So once you open the folder, you will see an icon over here at the top. You need to click here. Then you will see something like this. And you can also open this using by pressing Ctrl plus L and there you can see so once you open this you will see over here some option here you can see if I now click on code I'll see two option code or chat uh, you can chat with cascade I mean the windsurf and if you chat with windsurf it can actually generate you some port but it cannot actually create file and edit the file okay so 90% of the time you need to use this option called code so let's just create a simple file over here let's say uh, create create me a login and register form with good design let's say using html css and javascript let's just say one more thing make sure the design is unique and uh, give it a tech design let's see how it does so right now i'm going to click on this send button and there you can see it started planning so once the planning is done, it will start creating our project. There you can see this now creating index.html. And there you go, it generated the code for us for index.html. And right now it is generating the styles. And at the bottom, you will see this reject and accept option. And WinSurf will only save the code when you click on the accept button. And there you go, it is done. So right now I'm just going to click here, accept all. And right now we need to open this using browser. So let me just uh, go to my desktop. The folder name was test and I'm going to open the index.html. And there you go. This is the design. I think the design looks quite good. And you can modify the changes if we want. Uh, let's say our insert. Uh, make the input field. Let's just say here bigger. Let's not specify how bigger. Let's just click here. Because I think it's on the left side and it's too small. Let's see whether Unisurf can figure it out or not. And it is done. So right now I'm going to click here, accept all. Then refresh. Okay, it make it a little bit bigger, but not too big. Okay. Okay, let's say here, uh, increase the input width and make it and make the form in the center also make the design better 
let's just say something abstract then click on this button again and there you go it is done so click on accept hall and let me just refresh it again and there you go it modified the design and it's way better than before so one more thing and that is uh let's say uh you want to modify a part of the design let's say you want to modify this part of the design so you just need to select this then you need to press over here control plus i and you can give a instruction let's say here uh let's say another uh abstract message let's say give it unique design compare to the whole page let's just say this then you click here on submit and there you go it is done so right now click on accept so right now click on accept and you can just close this and right now if we just refresh here okay the design changed a little bit so yeah this is how you can install and use windsurf i hope this tutorial is useful and basically we are using the free version and if you want to upgrade to the pro version then here you will see the trial button click on it and from here you will see the plan and over here you can say upgrade for more premium kds you just need to click here and you can upgrade your and you can buy any plan from here so normally i will i would suggest you the pro plan i think this is enough but with free plan you cannot do much so yeah uh, this is all for this tutorial i hope you learned something new if you have any question or if you have any suggestion what kind of video i should make next just comment below i'll make it and i hope to see you in the future tutorials